sourdough fruit loaf and some yogurt this morning. Hmm. Maybe if you guys have one of these small ones each. And you have the big one. And there's one tiny one still in the toaster. I can have that. Cheers. Yum. Oh, oh yum. The sourdough cinnamon sultana loaf is a success, isn't it? Mm -mm. So today we've got a few things we need to do. We need to go and check and see if the owl found our letters to Santa. Check if the magic owl came. Go. We need to go up and check our noosu noosu to see if the letters have been collected. Why is it called and the Boida said it's a noosu? Hey Boida, what's that meaning lo noosu noosu? Him spirit or? And it's a sourdough day today. So I took the starter out last night and I'm going to make sourdough for the resort again. So I need to go up to the big kitchen and I'm going to use the big mixer. Me. Who's going to help me with sourdough? Me. You are Otto? What about you Philly? Me. Me. And it's another rainy day, look. Well, it's three days in a row that it's been overcast and drizzly. And it's just not our jam, is it? We don't no. like rainy days so much. We need the rain to fill the tanks, but... Not filling the tanks. <sighs> I need a sunny day now. I couldn't live in London. Yeah. yeah? Do you think you can find OP in the rain? Yeah. All right. Let's let's Do find you out. Magic umbrella that pops out of his head. <laughs> You reckon? Yeah. That's good thinking. Can you see your letter? No. What about you, Philly? No. They're both gone. They're gone? Let's check. Oh, no sign of the letters. What about over here? No sign of the letters. They're gone. Is that good news? Is that good news, Philly? Yeah. The owl took your letters. Oh, fly. Well, that means Santa's gonna get the kids' letters. That's good news. I have just um, been up top. I've met some of the new guests who have just arrived. It's really nice when new people arrive and then I got stuck chatting for like, how long? An hour. <laughs> it's not what I planned. I've still got quite a lot of editing to do, so I'm just sitting down um, trying to get started here and Premiere Pro won't open on my computer. So anyway, it's pretty hard fitting all of this vlogging in with also editing the videos. I'm currently cutting myself off at midnight and then trying to pick up and finish what I need to in the morning and when I've got fresh eyes and yeah, but it's still a lot of work. I better get to it. What are you guys finding? Shells. What are the shells for? <gasps> are they decorations? Are these the ones you found already? Whoa! I found this one. Daddy, I found that one. Oh, it's already got a hole in it. How cool is that one? Ready to go. Daddy, can I tell you the nicest one with that I'll keep it in this cabinet? Yeah. Daddy, I want to Okay, I'm good collecting the rubbish. <laughs> I found that. This one. Beautiful. This is nice. Oh, wow. I want to keep that for the new cabins. Okay, you hold him up? I'll show you everyone. Okay, hold it still. Daddy. Beautiful. Daddy. What's going on here? I know, of course, two months here or one month here, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. This time, I'm ready, I'm not ready. Another busy morning, getting everyone ready. We've got a whole new crew in now, which is really cool. Everyone's just re exploring and rediscovering Upi. 
uh, with some wonderful returning guests who were here uh, five years ago and have been trying to get back for three years since COVID happened. They're out, we've got some people on stand up paddle boards this morning. We've got one guest going for a, a dive. We've got a few people getting in the water for a snorkel. So we've got people all over the resort this morning. We're pretty busy keeping everyone else busy and the kids are off collecting the most adorable decorations you've ever seen in your life for Christmas. So starting to get in the festive spirit and hopefully in the next day or so we can actually head off and go get our Christmas tree. <sighs> this is the current situation. It is raining onto our deck. It gets really slippery when it rains down through leaf. I guess because of the organic matter in the leaf. There must be more algae or something, makes it really slippery. Slippery! Makes it really slippery really quick. So I'm feeling like maybe we jinxed ourselves with this weather because we were so keen in our first few days of Vlogmas to get out and try and swim with our ocean friend and show you guys more of the other uh, footage that we've got of this beautiful mammal prior to Vlogmas. But the weather has other plans for us. But I guess that's kind of island life, isn't it? Like that's, it is the tropics and we do get rain all year round. But at the moment, it, it's probably a good thing because we do need to fill up the water tanks. So yeah, unfortunately, I don't think we'll be getting the drone up today. Truly, it's impossible to find this creature without the drone. But someone else has commented that they wanna see manta rays. We really wanna see manta rays as well. We've had a few failed attempts um, getting out underwater with the mantas recently. So we should make that a priority in the next couple of days, see if we can get some beautiful underwater footage with some manta rays for you guys. Rainy day activities. <laughs> wow! Lunch is ready to go. Aha! Uh -huh. Say hello to YouTube everyone. <laughs> what book's that? Funny. It's that time of day again, isn't it? It's that time I'm almost asleep. I'm going to find Lulu. God. I really want to see Lulu. Okay, quick, it's raining. Can't get the camera wet. <laughs> wow, look at all those birds. Look at all the bird poop. We've got to bring Alfred down here. Yeah. Maybe I will Okay, so we're out here looking for our ocean friend. We've got some binoculars. The reason we came out right now is because it's really calm. The water's like a mirror surface. So there's a good chance we might spot it if it's here already. But is it the right time of day, do you think? No. I, I think, no. I think so. Maybe not the right time of day because... When I think so because I want to. <laughs> well, yeah, I want to see it too. We're being positive, aren't we, Philly? Yeah. But jump out of the way of the camera, sweetie. But usually we're seeing it in the late evening on dusk. We'll see. Yeah. See I what know, we see. Dad. Pop the caps off. Mm -hmm. Where should I look? Over there. Where you saw it. It's hard with glasses on. It's hard. Can you do binoculars without your glasses? What's that? I think it's crazy. Whoa. Mommy, what is it? Okay, you have a look through the binoculars and see if you can see. Down. Sit down so you're nice and steady. Yep. Okay, no sign of our friend for now, but I really need to go and mix some sourdough. It's a long process and you've got to fold it quite a few times as it's proving before we put it in the cold room overnight and then we'll bake it in the morning. But I, I'm really late starting that process because I was editing this morning. So let's go and do the sourdough and then we'll come back and maybe we can take a paddle board out and check for our friend. See what Jace thinks. I don't know what he's up to. I think he's been farewelling guests and organising activities and all the things. So anyway, we'll check back again soon. And what exactly are you doing, Christopher? Why are you sitting in a sink in the kitchen? <laughs> do, do you think we need a new file? <laughs> I was alone and a quiver on the boat for the river 
And oh, my hands were cold That might hear me flowing To know where it was going I, 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 I Have to wait That's a lot of bread there some sourdough cutting tools so I can like do pretty patterns. I'm pretty sure the only reason I got into sourdough was so that I could make beautiful patterns. I watched those like YouTube shorts of people making those insane like flowers and Christmas sourdough. I want to be that sourdough mother. I want to be her. <laughs> <laughs> How cool would that be? Very cool darling, very cool. All right. There you go. Oh, you know what I do? What? I check the pickles. They've been oh, over a week yeah, now. They've been they a while. Be they should be ready. Yum. Fruit loaf, yeah. Do a fruit loaf and a seedy loaf and two normal loaves. Okay. Sound good? Wash them. You pour it on the plate. done this one last because it's really messy but I am using coconut syrup cinnamon and sultanas to make like I guess a fruit loaf okay so my four loaves I need to run back to the house and get a lava lava to cover them like a tea towel and I need to find a spot to put them and I need to clean up and then I need to get back to the kids organize a fishing trip for the guests, and then we're gonna go for a sup to look for our friend. Oh, shivers. And I'm making simple syrup, which is ready. Making that for the bar, better take that off now. The boys are starting to build the bridge cap, which has about, what do you reckon, Bobs? 120 pieces just in the ridge or something? 100 pieces of leaf just for the ridge cap. It's like an absolute work of art. In case you are new to our channel, we are building an off-grid island home. This is our absolute dream home in a dream location. We currently live in a small two bedroom space with our growing children and in a much less private part of the resort. Most of the resources in this build are local and we are really excited to be highlighting traditional building techniques and utilizing only sustainably harvested hardwood timber. We have done a few videos on our build so far and I'll link a playlist here if you're interested in seeing those. Come on, young man. See you, Los Kaina. Doctor, I'm just going to say that you're a clay. I'm just looking at <laughs> we are now by my start. No, I missed that. Come lo. I am not really mad. I you start him going now, lo 30 mil, then by 8 inch. Now I'm just seeing that on top, lo roof. Yeah, no more. Why I'm no. Tying or pass anything with him. Then face some board there, but him come underneath the car pile. Because by him not take him, not this for la. Really? 
So these are the Ororu, which are the vertical timbers, which are going to go up and be our last like rafters. And this is what you actually bind the leaf onto with the under, so the lawyer cane over there. It's probably going to take him like two or three days to build the Ropato, so a ridge cap. And then after that, we will thatch down from the top down to make it as strong as possible. Wow, what are you wearing? You got your pink canies on. Hang on. Why are you guys in swimmers? Because we're going to knock on our paddle board. What for? Because Mummy thought we saw a oh. You mean Laguni? Yeah. Laguni Landori. Oh, Landori, sorry. Who are, we, who are we looking for? Nandori. Landori, Jugi, <laughs> Kelly, the first of his name. So kids, could you tell me a couple of the defining features about Landori that might help people Actually, guess what Landori he is? Landori has a snail tail. A sna <laughs> snail tail. A snail tail. Okay, what else, Arlo? Mm -hmm. Landori is can jump. Okay. And he has big fluffy ears. Big fluffy ears. Alright. And hairy tail. A hairy tail? Yeah. Wow, this is painting quite the picture. And, and he has a fin like a shark. A fin like a shark? <laughs> I heard he had green teeth, is that true? Yeah, he has yeah. green teeth. Green teeth. Green teeth. Umbrella sprouting out of his nose. An umbrella sprouting out of his nose. <laughs> like that. Okay, with only one functional drone battery and between showers of rain, with our two hungry children right on dinner time, we got in the water with Doogie. Have you guessed yet what Doogie is? Well, we get a really good look at him, but we're going to make you wait all of 24 hours so that I have time to finish and upload this video on our very slow coconut wireless. We'll see you tomorrow, guys. Liana!